We're yeah. ba- he's back, everybody. Joe yeah. Robinson. I don't now I, in the middle chair. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I know. Does it feel weird? It, <clears throat> only because I feel like I'm looking up because I'm looking at the screen. Mm-hmm. I'd rather be, but it, I would not look there at the camera. I would look up at the right. It just I feel better. I feel more comfortable. You know, and but I'm, I can live with. Refer it. to him. By his legal name, Joe P. Cotton Esquire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Slavery <laughs> proponent. Right. Do you want to clear the air? Because last week there's no air to clear. You okay. Know it's funny because... Re- reset it for us because yeah. we want to get it. We want. We don't want to be misquoted. Yeah. You. When you tell us exactly I was what happened. In I believe it was the seventh grade. Yes. Okay. I was in um, Miss Burton's class, and Miss Burton's is a person of color. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we were on our unit uh, regarding the Civil War. You familiar okay. with the Civil yeah. War? Yeah, heard of it. Okay. Or as my relatives call it, the War of Northern Aggression. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we had to debate <clears throat> the merits of slavery. Okay. I don't know why okay. you, why you have to do that. I, well, it's the teachers the one okay, doing it. But like, but let me explain something right. to you. No way in hell did I volunteer. Like I wasn't like, oh, I'll take. I got this. I, got, yeah. Yeah, I already had. It. I already am already prepared. Dibs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, with that, and I tried. And you look back at the time; it didn't seem odd. Yeah. I think she just thought, oh, this person is good at whatever. So re- she said rhetoric. you're doing it. Yes, yeah, she assigned me yes. the person that argued for slavery. That he was looks a- hateful. That yeah. was a sign to me. Yeah. I was blonde haired, blue eyed. I mean, time. you were, yeah. uh, you know, who in the motherland's mm-hmm. prime uh, 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 child in mind for what he wanted the future to look like. And it's funny because you remember some of your talking points. I don't remember much other than I was what it was, you know, what racists do. Yeah. You know, they're saying yeah. it's a matter of states rights. Right. You can't. Sure. What are you going to do? Argue the merits of slavery. Yeah. Did you convert right? anyone? <laughs> Did anyone? I, you know what? You know what? The man's making Before some good Before we got started, so, yeah. I thought it was horrendously yeah. evil, but now mm. <laughs> I do remember the class. And this is I the teacher's gotta have she's gotta be some kind of sadist. Yeah. Cause you can only get what would be the expected outcome or something fucking horrific. Yeah. See, no, okay? sadist would have been having to pick like a young black girl to argue in favor. <laughs> that would have now, been horrifying. Maybe. Do hold, you hold did on. you want to get an A or did you not want to get an A in that class? You want to fail that. that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. I probably yeah. didn't get an A because yeah. they never did homework. But I do remember that at the end they voted on who won. Okay. They had to vote. The class had to vote. Yes. God damn Joe's Scott. good. Right. And I lost. Okay. Was right? it unanimous? I, I remember it not being unanimous. Okay. <laughs> I remember we were like, you know what? That guy brings up some good I would actually, yeah, I would love to go back yeah. and rifle through the ballot box and see yeah. who was like, hey, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I definitely didn't have any of my uh, uh, st- fellow students of color upset with me because I didn't. I was because every time hey, I you remember, know, the you know, other, I'm just fucking with you, right? you know, right? Yeah, yeah. The you know, other cool. person, you try to dap them yeah, up, yeah, yeah. Right. Away from Run me. DMC, yeah. I have their albums. Yeah, yeah. I love was, the Fat Boys. The person that was, I did love the Fat Boys back then. I know, yeah. did, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I saw the Fat Boys movie. I saw yeah. Orderlies, yeah. Disorderlies. Yeah. Disorderlies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know who's in the Disorderlies? No, Daniel Day Lewis, John Turturro, yeah, Tony Geary. He played Luke on General Hospital. That was the star. And that upright and walking Stephen Hawkins and Ralph Bellamy. He was one of the two guys in trading places. Right. Bill being the yeah. better known one. Nice. Okay. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do disorderly? We song? are. Right to, wrong? Yes. Dude. Who's gonna? Re- I'm recasting the human beatbox. <laughs> dude, that that what was the one you just did? Um, the most recent one. I'm did sorry. Rocky? Clueless. Clueless. Dude, dude Clueless hey. stressed me out. Hey, I didn't listen to read. Listen, dude, Clueless. Clueless stressed me. I did not oh, like your mommy and daddy I didn't fight. re-listen to Clueless. That shit was. It was not comfortable. Dire. <laughs> Anyway, I would have texted each one of you separately, like everything all right. Yes, yeah. I didn't. Well, you know, we had recorded back to back shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, we're never doing that again. Rocky's a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you going to do any slavery movies now that we're talking yes, about we're gonna, it? We're going to yeah, do, do Roots and Glory, Emancipation. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I remember when the person was arguing for slavery, I would say, I agree with everything that person just said. Mm-hmm. However, the states need to be the people that, you know, because that's yeah. all I could do. I remember gotcha. even as a kid saying, how am I going to get out of this? What's well, like a defense attorney? Like I know that he's guilty, but I just have to. But did you prove it beyond a reasonable doubt? You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, no, no. Let the states yeah. make mm-hmm. that decision. Uh, anyway, um, here's another thing. I just well, welcome back, Jeff. Thanks, yeah, glad man. to have you back. I told Katie something because that just came out. I had that like in the recesses. I probably okay. haven't, I probably haven't thought about that in a few years, and it just came up when we were on the boat. 
And I was telling Katie the other day, there is something that I think about once once a week. Okay. Once a week. I think about it once a week, and I just told her about it. Is it the Roman Empire? <laughs> it's my Roman Empire. Okay. It's my Ro When I was a kid. Oh, no. I've told this. <laughs> when I was a kid, my baseball coach, it was Matt and Morgan's. They were twins that were in my, in my, they went to school with me, mm -hmm. and their father was our baseball coach. Yeah. Okay. And he put me at third base. Right. And I'll never forget this. Their older brother, Marshall, who's probably 60 now. Okay. Yeah. He goes, what do you put him at third base for? He can't, he's not going to be able to make the throw all the way over to first. And you remember him saying that. No, no, hold on. Batter later, crack. Ball comes to me and I fucking fire a seed over to first base. Mm. It might have been the greatest moment of my life. Really? Okay. Hell yes. yes. That's peak yes. athletic think about accomplishment. It it might, no, yeah. I was nice. the worst player on the team. But, but I for that remember one doing that thinking, oh my God, I've actually shut this guy, this guy you up. You shut. Did you look immediately over after him? Like anything to say now, M. Effort? Said nothing. Oh, man. And that's you, a time to go. And you know what I ended up winning? So, you know, they have, they have. You won the right to argue for slavery. Yes. <laughs> You got a day off from raking leaves, they, which I bet you wish you had yes. some help with, right? <laughs> wink, wink. When we were growing up, they had four awards. You won the most valuable player. Okay. okay. You won the best offensive player, best defensive player, and you won the coach's award. <laughs> okay, the coach's award was the most pathetic of all yeah, the awards. Yeah, that's right? just, you just, you're there early yeah. and you do what you're told. You never quit. Yeah. If there was a special you needs, yeah. if there was a special needs kid on the yeah. team. Yeah. They won the coach. Oh, award. it's gotcha. a kid that they let in the okay. final yeah. play of the Joe game. Joe won it six straight years. Every year. They, they, yeah. <laughs> it was your slamming. So I remember <laughs> that season, I won the coach's award. Yes, good for you, man. <laughs> I'm sure it had to do All with right. me making that right. one throw. Yeah. Coach's award winner, Joe All Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Coach's award winner, possible right. show title. I, wish I, I think, still could we do a, a new spinoff podcast uh, in the DLP universe and in, in the young Sheldon like? Young Joe, where we have oh my kids God. on here. We can just talk about your day Joe. in seventh grade. I yeah. would love a, a, like almost like the day to Tommy's <laughs> night where he yeah. tells the darkest of dark stories on Tommy Simbazo story time on the DLP agenda Patreon page. You just tell something from yours because it's something like that. Yeah, that's very sweet. It doesn't involve a no, we hire and, a kid, a child to play you. Oh, yes. yeah, and they tell the yes. story. Oh, I write dude, the story who's the nephew? Yes. Who's, who's, yeah, Henry. Uh, Henry, yes. dude, reads the story. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, was that who I saw in the video? ahead of time prior to us getting started that was yes was that henry yeah. doing that <laughs> on a vacation now you know we went to um ocean city maryland katie and i we probably spent of the last 21 days of this month we probably spent 18 of them in ocean city maryland. sounds amazing we spent a lot of time there but we were there with her family her parents Mm. and her brother and sister-in-law and their two kids and us now, eight of us her dad's there too Right, who I could feel him. It ran. You weren't here for this for follow up. <laughs> I at heard, Randolph's I heard it. place. Yeah. He was choking back a gay slur. <laughs> I mean, he swallowed yeah. it down when I talked about me dragging everybody into a comic shop to go look at collectibles. Yeah, the disgust. Well, you know why he came? The disgust. He didn't have shoes on. He didn't. Have he was shoes dragged on. out of the house. Know, and I felt bad. No, for him. you ran no. out of alcohol at your house. The reason he came is they were going over to play putt putt golf, and he didn't want to do it. Mm. So he said, I'm going to go with Katie to go get Joe. Oh, word. Nice. So you got him out of having to it go play. It was just an excuse. And All he right. just thought we were going to go there. I thought he missed Justin and I. Pick him up. No. But then he got drugged Wanted in. fuck all to do with us. But tell me, because I showed you a video. Yeah. Maybe we could post a video. I have to get Katie's permission. We can put it on Patreon maybe, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. see why not. But Frank. The kids, you know, what they want to do is they want to eat Thrasher's fries and they yeah. want to eat Fisher's popcorn sure. and they want to do go karts and, and, and they so want to do the mini adults. golf. Man, I go down, go down there, the beach. go to Doe Roller. They got yeah. the arcades, hit the boardwalk, little Thrasher's fries. He's like, hey, I need you guys for a few minutes. Nice. Now, Henry's seven and, and Watson's five. Okay. Evan's eight. So I'm in that window. He pulls out a bear. Like a teddy bear. No, it's a little bit larger than that because it's something that you do CPR on. What? Okay. He has <laughs> this at the ready. Well, it's funny you say that. Alive, staying alive. He knows he does alive. that. He's uh. got he's showing his his grandson how to do Is CPR. he certified? He, he he that's what he does. He's certified. Okay. He's a certified badass. But yes. meanwhile, yeah. if you're if something's happening in your life, is it in danger? <laughs> and some seven year old goes, I got this. <laughs> Yeah, get the get the adult. Let please. me cross yeah. over. Let yeah. me cross over. Get the adult to do it. But not only did he have, and he was making them learn CPR on their vacation. But not only that, 
He also had a defibrillator with him. Holy shit. Like the paddles? <laughs> yes, yes. What? Are they charged Clear. up? He had the yeah. All right, Joe, <laughs> sit still. I'm going to show this on Uncle Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, what He goes, you? kids, do this unless it's Uncle Joe. <laughs> Let him pass. Who wants to have a paddle <laughs> yeah. fight? Yeah. They're just chasing yeah. you around. You're like putting like hamburgers in between the thing, trying to cook it. Well, Were they I doing was... well? They... I know. I was so, I was laughing so hard. I don't know if they <laughs> I mean, were doing well, smart but kid. why is yeah. the defibrillator there? <laughs> why is that there? Is he? You buy something out of necessity. Does he? Is he concerned that his ticker might crap out? That no, he's no. going to need this? No, he he teaches CPR. He teaches CPR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it maybe for work? Is it part of one of his work yes. duties? Yeah. Okay, then that tracks. If he had it, well, why is he's he passionate about? It? Why is he showing? Maybe he, he travels uh, with it. Maybe it's always in the car. It, yes. Now, okay. you know, I have had, golf clubs. He has a defibrillator. We had a CPR specialist come into the station. Mm -hmm. you, ever, you ever taken CPR training? I have not. Uh, I have. It was after the Demar Hamlin thing. Hey, mm -hmm. I took it right around the time that I was arguing for slavery. Oh, okay. oh yeah. So <laughs> someone died and sent him to white heaven, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we had a CPR person come in because CPR saved Damar Hamlin from the bill, safety on the field. Mm -hmm. And we're like, shit, none of us know CPR. So we bring in someone that is, I, I think, an EMT. And they've got the, you know, it looks like part of a real doll. It looks like something Tommy would print and fuck. Yeah, Recessa and, Annie. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the thing has got That's Tommy's these, new store. Print and fuck. <laughs> print and fuck. You will print it, you fuck it. And he, oh, wish oh, that could be a show title. I wish it could too. <laughs> but this thing has, it's like this gelatin that feels like skin, but inside of it are these plastic, almost like, you ever see a snap bracelet to where it, the way it, yeah. it arc and bends around you? There's bones in this like that. Oh, so they want you to they, know. They want you to know you're going to break bones during CPR. They say when you do the chest yeah. compression, you're cracking ribs. It's going to happen. Yeah, you, you want to make sure you need it first. If you, you do can, successful yeah. CPR, there's a great chance you've pulverized someone's ribs. Uh -huh. They're alive. They're going to wake up with sore ribs, but the other options, they die. A seven-year-old's not breaking ribs. No. no. Like a seven-year-old's <laughs> going to have to, like, American History X yeah. stomp a jump on you. Yeah, He's going to have to absolutely coup de grace, Finn, Finn Balor, off the top rope, double leg stomp on you. Now, Henry's a smart kid. Oh, he's, no, he's, he's big for his he size. He knows what he's I doing. I just don't know if he's got the power behind it. Of course he doesn't have the power behind it, it's, right? It was Frank drunk. He was drunk a lot. That rules. He also got mad mm. when we were making fun of his because you guys want to know where the prostate is? When I, <laughs> Grab me that bag of onion rings. <laughs> when I met Frank, he didn't drink anything. Really? He was, ah, a, was called a teetotaler. Is, teetotaler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause and effect. Is that what that yeah, is? Straight edge. And then yeah. his daughter gets yeah. engaged and he yeah. grabs the Tito's. Then he's like, you <laughs> know what? Joe to Jen. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll start drinking some orange crushes. Yeah. Oh, so he started drinking good. orange crushes. Smart man. Orange crushes pretty good. good. Then he had an old fashioned. He's like, you know what? I like these. What's an old fashioned? That's bourbon. Okay. Yeah, it's bourbon's got little, little bitters in her. That's sometimes. what it is. Okay. Yeah. And so now that's what he drinks. Now, Katie and I are, are making fun of him, saying we need to have an intervention. You know, obviously, he's fine. I'm not making fun of I would ass. love to get drunk but with Frank. We're oh, making fun yeah. of him, and he's getting upset that we're saying this in front, in front of his grandchildren. Okay. <laughs> Simple syrup is also okay. in the old-fashioned. Thank you, Brittany. She but knows. he did get me back a little bit. Um, so, you know, we had family photos taken. Okay. Right? At the beach? <laughs> At the beach, right? Yeah. You know these things, right? Yeah. Uh, I recently had to edit some up. Yeah, yeah. If, you're, yeah, if you're a Patreon you're, member, yeah. you get to see what I do when someone mm -hmm. bugs me too much about editing family photos. I put my face on everyone's body. But it's the one where everybody wears similar, you know, you're yeah, there's a away, it's white. Let's wear some like cream, yeah. some yeah. beach yeah, yeah, colors. I get wearing, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very so we're all cheesy. dressed similarly or whatever. Everyone dressed like a juggalo. And we're meeting the we're meeting the um the photographer. photographer down at the beach mm -hmm. at, at time X. And we get there, and the photographer looks at this group and is like. Now you can tell she has no idea who's paired up with who. She can't figure out. No, the, how could she? She can't figure out right. what the. So she's like, okay, um, all right. Well, let's uh, <laughs> pair off it with your significant other. And wherever you need to stand, and I'm like, I realize okay. you don't understand. Are you going to help her? Or are you letting it just, just sit out it there? It sat out there for about, I'd say, 15 right. seconds. That's which fun. Felt like right. a forever. Fun for the whole family. I go, I look, I know you're going to find this hard to believe. But it's me. I'm going to be the one standing over here with this person. It's like at the end of any Die Laughing Productions murder mystery. Mm -hmm. Bunch of dates coming up in October. Yeah. Dialproduction.com. Mm -hmm. When you do the big reveal that this is my yeah, wife. Yeah, and it yeah, inevitably yeah. gets some oohs and ahs. People yeah. pass out. They need CPR. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. So, but here's the other thing. Now, I know you had a family photo, but your family photo looked a lot like 
when you get a basketball photo. Yeah, the, the full year, team. You know, yeah. Yeah. Everybody just, just, it looked like a class photo yeah. in fifth grade, except that there was 80 people in it and there was zero theme. Some heard business casual, others heard tux, others heard day in court. Mm -hmm. So we get this and they're like, okay, I want you to do this. And then she's like, I want you to run towards me. Okay. And I'm like, I don't together want like an action shot, <laughs> like holding hands. What oh my God. And I'm this like, is so and I'm doing hey, it, but I, in my head, I'm like, I don't want these to exist. You're no. not a sexy runner. Joe. <laughs> no, dude. It's flailing in the beach. <laughs> Joe running Jeez. is part of my favorite and least yeah. done bit of yours on stage yeah, right. during your stand up days, meeting people at adult kickball. Yeah. The yeah. hardest I've ever seen John Muma laugh in my life <laughs> at a stand up act that didn't involve Angel Salazar. Or Rest in peace. JB Smooth mm -hmm. was you doing the kickball act out, trying to meet someone, and you doing the little run up to the plate yeah. to kick it. I thought John was going to black well, out. So I, you running now is not going to look photos like photos of it. You, but you're no holding Lyles. hands and running. Now I'll say this: we're holding hands and running. We're running separately. Something by the way you would never, never, do. Have never. No one's run. ever ran. How can we make you look as unnatural as hold hands and run? Swinging kids. Yeah. Right. And so I remember thinking, okay, look. I don't get any say in the choice. Did no. you show her the video you were getting the inner tube? Say, look, <laughs> look at yeah. me. this is my, yeah. this is how coordinated <laughs> yeah, I am yeah. now. And so I'm like, I, I swear if the family's like, you know what? This is the one, this is the one we're going with. Because whenever you look at a picture, you look at one thing yourself. Yes. Oh, then of course. immediately your eyes are yeah. going to like, where am do I? And there I you am, do I look acceptable? And then if you do, you're like, all right, well, uh, that's fine. As long as I do. Oh, we, I, when do we get to see these? And photos? if they're like, <laughs> we like the one where you're joking. Yeah, yeah, who's, whose idea was the photographer? Yeah. Well, the photographer. Yeah. The photographer yeah. just, I would go, no, yeah. I'm going to stand here. Oh, yeah. I want to <laughs> know. We can have a fun caption running towards each other or something. Oh my God. Ru Running down our dreams or something <laughs> cheesy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, running it. down a dream. Yeah. Tom Petty lyrics. Right. I would love if we got a yes. hold of it. Dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Photoshop contest. The runs. We yeah. get it. Joe and we, Katie. Yeah. We put it on photos. Yes. We put it on Patreon. Yes. We have people like edit on Forrest Gump's leg braces when he was a kid breaking off his legs. Mm -hmm. uh, being chased by yeah. model walkers. <laughs> Something yes, like that. Yes, we need all these photos. I want them. I Katie, want them. Katie said she was stressed about you, know, you having to do it. It wasn't her idea. So oh, was, I didn't yeah. think it was Katie's hey, idea. Yeah. No, Katie likes a nice theme, but running does not say No, Katie. I promise you Katie was like, what? No. You should. Katie wants people to hey. match and have a nice color motif, but, but the, not action. But the problem is, is that Frank now has access to those photos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good. Yeah. That's what he has. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. you're going to have a good Christmas <laughs> gift this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a giant wall yes. photo of me. God, anyway, that's funny. So wait, I'm sorry. What's the ETA on us getting a look at these photos? I don't know. Katie's in chat. Katie, how long till the photo? And I'm sure we get to see the proofs. Yeah, so we'll I, get to see I, the I ones want them all. Okay. Yeah. Because there's probably some ones that someone's making like a, uh, you know, the dog holding its window out of the face. She goes, hopefully never. Or holding his face yeah. out of the window so its <laughs> lips are flapping around type thing. So how many people ran? Uh, I guess the family. We Everyone? Ran, yeah, we were holding hands. We were running as a, as a family. So <laughs> it's so, it's the whitest thing I've ever heard. It, it's, it's so it's unnatural. So, yeah. I caught this family in full sprint. Yeah. Like a nice tidal wave <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Godzilla minus one. Is coming a fire <laughs> theme is playing. Yeah. Yeah. Rob, it's okay. Yeah. So if someone was to ask you a photographer, yeah. hey, I want you to do something. Mm. It's just so unnaturally you. Yeah. And then I'm going to take a picture. Rob, what are, what are you doing in that photo? Smile. That's it. Smile. There you go. Rob, they got dancing? no teeth. Are you right. dancing? Yeah. Dancing. Yeah. Dancing. dancing. There you go. Dancing. Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Having me having sex. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey! Justin, I'm going to go ahead and turn the flash on. Tell the truth. And then let's see if I could possibly capture that. Let's take a break, yeah. hear from our sponsors. And when we come back, I'll talk about uh, how maybe I'm the star of the Randolph Rice commercial. Be right yeah. back. So Randolph, a couple weeks ago, says we're shooting this commercial, and it's in Annapolis. And um, yeah, I'm out of town. By, I right? can't be part of it. And I said yes. Now I thought, I thought it was just like I, I knew it was something. Uh, there's little kids at like a lemonade stand, and there's there's it's in a neighborhood. And I, I think they needed. I, I assumed because needed like background extras, just yeah, somebody walking by. He pitched like, us yeah. the theme mm -hmm. in Ocean City on I the liked boat. It. I, I thought it was a fun it's, idea. It's a great ad camp. And you know, he's a creative mm -hmm. man. And but when he was like, "Hey, and come by for the shoot," I thought the same thing. I need somebody walking by. Right. You and I, same sex couple. Joe's, you know, yes. walking a dog. <laughs> sure. That's not what I saw in those photos. Well, then he emails me. And there's like, here's the call sheet, and this is official, right? And uh, down, uh, open this attachment, and I'm like, 
look, I'm in the script. Like, oh, I'm, oh, shit, I'm in this. You have size. Right. I was like, God, I wish I'd dress better that didn't look like a fat piece of shit. But anyway, so, and it's funny because we talked on your Twitch stream the other week. Somebody had asked me, yeah, if I, if I wouldn't do comedy, what would I be doing? And I said, I was always interested in advertising and coming with ad campaigns. You'd be a real life madman. Right. So I am going to this thing and I might have been pushing it a little bit with the director because I, I was kind of just throwing in ideas. And okay. Just rewriting things. Was on the, the director fly. It seemed like. Were they susceptible? Receptive? No, yeah. he was. You know, it was actually Good. it was crazy because I don't remember years ago that that pilot that I funny in five. Where, yeah. That I had this idea. You take professional comedians. It was me and Ramin shot it. And then we each mentor a non-comedian. And. And then they do five minutes yeah. on stage. Funny we did for it. five. You yes. Told me. Right. They did it. We did it at the DC Improv. We shot this whole thing. One of the guys that was on this was like the guy that was the director of that. No thing shit. That oh, really? Okay. okay. So I was like, I recognize you. And I'm like, it was so cool. Anyway. So the story, the concept of this commercial is it's uh, a little kid, a little girl in this case at, a, at what appears to be a lemonade stand, which is not selling lemonade. She's selling. It says. Uh, life advice. Yeah, like Lucy. Like, I was going to say, yeah. like the peanut right, sketch, yeah. but instead of psychology, it's advice. Exactly. Yeah. So the first thing, it's 50 cents. The first line, I'm like, did you say 50 cents? And say, two for a dollar. Easy joke. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we have all these Was lines. that added? They it added? was added. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then all these setups are like, a kid comes up and asks for advice. I also said to have her say, Hey, you look like you need advice. Do shit like that because it's coming from a nine-year-old girl. It's just cute and yeah. funny, right? Get a little sass. Whose kid was it? Uh, it was somebody. We were they were in front of their house. Somebody in the production company or somebody knew somebody that lived at this house that allowed us to shoot there. And so I don't know who it was, but it was somebody connected somehow. It'd be great if there was some truck that pulled up labeled "Rent a Tot" and it's just some guy and a girl in an enclosure walking out like, "All right, yeah. we got the kid." Yeah, how many do you need? All right, right what do you want? You want I'm crying, not right. crying? We just you got want this blonde woman. brunette fresh from Serbia. <laughs> so somebody asks her advice, then she gives her advice back, okay. and her advice is always bad advice. And then Randolph comes in and says. Not all advice is good advice. If you if you've been injured in the state of Maryland, for the best advice, call Rice. Okay, so that's Boom, the that's ad, his right? line. Okay. Yes. So I my line was I thought it would be funny if I come up to this girl, it's life advice, and say something that just makes no sense to a nine year old, and then her advice back would be the line we workshopped about the brushing your teeth. Thing. Okay. So I go up to her, I go, well, you know, it's life advice, fifty cents. I walk up. In an ever-changing social landscape, how do I separate myself from my friends and peers? Oh. And she goes, brush your teeth twice in the morning so you don't have to brush it at night. Right? Okay. So it's, it's pretty okay. funny, right? right, right, right. Exactly. You should brush your teeth twice a day. Right. You never sit up right. or apart. It's also like, why well, I'm asking this little girl this question. She doesn't understand <laughs> yeah. anything. She's like, what are you talking about? So, yeah. And then, so that landed really well. That's a really good joke. Yes. And then there was other ones that was like... Uh, you know, the, one of the Randolph's wife's friends, uh, she's like, my I can't, my house is always cluttered. What do I do? And she's like, just put a, a, a blanket on the floor and call it a fort, you know, or something like that. Yeah. Right. And so it's all these silly things. And but one point, like because there was a line about glitter, like, how do I the joke is like the kids saying put glitter everywhere, which is the parents are going to hate that. Because and I go, she should say use glitter pounds of glitter right mm -hmm. and at one point she didn't say that line and i go over to the director i'm like yeah the, the pounds of glitter and he's like yeah. yeah but we're just shooting him right now so her line isn't even in this shot and i'm <laughs> like oh <laughs> maybe, maybe i've got it maybe i've crossed the line okay here. you know what i'll right. go back to not <laughs> check anything you start saying action right yeah but it ended up being really fun you accidentally and say pounder shitter yes. I mean, pounds <laughs> right. yes. of glitter <laughs> I think it's a great ad campaign. There's going to be several I, 15 I second ones, pictures. That's a, a 30 second one. That's a real shoot. Yeah. That's not a. Uh, we... All right. If you want to get. Do you know I was in a commercial today? Today. You were in a commercial today? Today. Huh. For, uh, for uh, JSS? Nope. Or Grinder. <laughs> I don't want to say where. Okay. okay. Because oh. that's a place that I, right. I, I love and respect. Here, I'll show you guys. And I won't show anybody else. And if you come up to an event, I'll tell you. Uh, I was at a place. I was uh I was there. Okay, okay. There it is. I love them, and they say, "Would you yeah. care to help with a commercial?" Sure. They asked me. They said, "Would you like to be in this commercial?" They are releasing, and I'm sorry for the vagaries chat, and I'm also sorry we're ignoring you. We will get to the chat in a little bit. Uh, it is a burger based off of that fellow. Okay, all right. That's a pretty popular athlete. Yes, sure. So they, <clears throat> we had two different experiences. 
So <laughs> you're there, camera crew, uh, director. You it's gave very it, professional. Yeah, I saw it. And yeah. I'm like, that's the set of an mm -hmm. indie film. Oh, I mean, yeah. that was a no. It was the real deal. That was a set. Mm -hmm. uh, I get there. Um, no one knows where to go. I'm like, I'm here for the commercial shoot. I have my, you know, my attire on. Mm -hmm. They said dress like him. Okay, mm -hmm. so I had my thing on, and uh, I get there, and they take me upstairs to a uh, a kitchen. And there's like five other people sitting there, and a couple of them I recognize uh, from around the area. Real and quick, is that guy there? He's not, and I <clears> thought <throat> he would be. Uh, okay. I thought he would be. Yeah. He's a pretty prominent athlete. Uh, you got a burger named after you. Thought it was going to be that. So the gimmick is, is that we're building this burger one person at a time. The first person's going to put the bun. Oh, I got it. The second person's going to put the fried pickles. The third person's going to put the burger itself mm -hmm. and then the bacon it's and the sauce. Effort. It's a team mm -hmm. effort, much like the sport this gentleman plays. Yes. It's a team effort. There you go. This guy already knows the theme. I didn't even show you the script. Um, it's a guy with a cell phone shooting this, and all he films is our hands. You don't know I'm in it. You don't know. Are you this is, giving this is, the middle face? This is Dave Shover Productions. I have no idea. <laughs> and joke for nine people. Yeah, yeah David uh, Sadberg. Yeah. Um, uh, he's using his cell phone. He's using a cell phone. Now, I know you iPhones are nice, but you should have but, like multiple real cameras and angles. And where I'm taking, I'm taking a tray from someone and putting it in front of me. And I'm then taking my bit was to take a bun and I put it on top. <laughs> And then I hand it to someone else, and then they take it and they do. And then there's bed. a black hand, and then how, there's a how long hand were you with there? nails. Two hours. <laughs> Jeez, I was two hours for 13 seconds uh -huh. worth of filming, and you never saw me. There were other did you have, people. Did you like have your good hand day? Did you wash nope. it? Did uh, you no one's ever looked at these nails? hands. And like, oh, I look like hand know, model. I, I was, was uh, David Duchovny from Zoolander, yeah. who's yes. the hand model that mm -hmm. has hand in the containers. Yeah. So did you get paid? No. <laughs> No, I didn't. You got paid in a handshake. Yes, yeah. I did not. I did not. Did you get, get one of the burgers? No. <laughs> did you get anything out of this? I got nothing. Did you I pay <laughs> gas money and, tr and time. Yes. And I had and and because of the bridge being gone, that's I me. Had to that's go, me. I got, it, Don't I, you recognize that knuckle? You'll see this in two weeks. <laughs> yes. That you're just gonna be like, I can. I swear that's my hand. Sure it is. Hey, okay. Can we? Oh, we know it's the bottom. I was gonna say. I'd like to have guessed. You'll be able to guess. All right, all right. Yeah, you'll be. Which but hand is yours? There's yeah. other people mm -hmm. in there. From there's someone from a band. There's right. someone from uh, another member of the media, and there's someone else that might get inside the squared circle, but you don't see any of us. And mm. I don't know what the... All of us had the same, like, so you're not you're not shooting us. One guy was genuinely like apoplectic like, about oh, fucking is shade the guy, like, this. Yeah. Was the guy from the band somebody that I might have said how much to go up and back on? No, no. Oh, that no. would be hilarious. Here, I'll show you. And again, I, I'm so sorry to the chat. Justin I'm gave so, a free hand job. That's yeah. Ed Van Arsdale. Good line. Oh, uh, oh, David Lee Roth. Yeah. Uh, this 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 fella here from a local news agency. Let's see, Eric Woodward. That's Woodward. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. You ever, yeah. He's ever seen that fellow on TV? Yes. Yes. Um, nonplussed that he was oh, called he there. Was not happy to mm. just do this with a tray. He's too pretty to just do that. He showed yeah. up in a suit. Yeah. And <laughs> not dead. Yeah. Most, <laughs> most people make a burger with a with their cufflinks. We <laughs> showed up yeah. looking like the people <laughs> did, we are. Right. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Did you know the premise? And you didn't know it would only be your hands, or did you did you not? I no know no idea the premise. They show up. We're gonna mm -hmm. film this. We thing. want it's Justin cool Schlegel yes. in our commercial. Yes. They're like, we like to, hey, stop We want his phalanges in our commercial. We want, yeah, we want your extremities We, we in see how thing. he plays those fart sound effects with those hands. I'm like, all right. Oh, well, that's a finger that does it. Yes. It's, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one that hits the fucking uh, Ric Flair sound yes. drop too much. He's uh, 75 only fans. He jerks yeah. off a lot. I really yeah, hope you fair. enjoy those baseball fever yeah. clips that I play a little bit uh, because I've been told to ease the fuck up on Cologne. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, apparently I've been beating them things up a little bit too much on air. So uh, got, you're doing Man, oh, man, job. a drop, drop of sweat down the crack of his eye. Yeah. Speaking of uh, beating him up a little bit too. A much. restaurant. I I land in Detroit. I, I rent a car. So I'm in the shuttle, the Hertz shuttle, to from the airport to the rental car place. And there's two women next to me. They're uh they're there for some wedding. They're from Texas. This comes up in conversation. They're asking the driver, you know, where's where's a good place to eat around here? And uh the driver, she's in her 50s, a heavy set woman. So okay. you think she's gonna know some food. She goes, um, <clears throat> Texas Longhorn Steakhouse. Ooh. And she goes, well, we're from Texas. Yeah. What's, what's your second choice? She goes, Cracker Barrel. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. A Publix. And she goes, all right. 
just give us another one. Now I want you to guess the third one. Joe knows okay, this. Okay, so something local. Did you did, did anything specific? Like, did you say local or? We'll get to her asking okay, for local okay. later. She's just asking where to eat. Not, not high okay, end. So we've got it's just somewhere to right. grab a bite that might be good. Right. That we're in this city. Okay, yes. so we've got Longhorn and, Steakhouse. We have. I'm sorry. The second one more time. That was Cracker Barrel. So Cracker Barrel. The third one is a place that I didn't, and these people weren't aware that was still around. Oh wow! Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, Roy Rogers. It it is not hey, Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers in Crofton. But is there? Okay, I did. Hey, a, I did a great. That, it's a sit Roy down Rogers. restaurant. Not okay. only that, that's where Mike Chamberlain did comedy. Yeah, I mean, sorry, really? did, did magic once at that Roy Rogers. <laughs> you did the grand <laughs> opening of one in Crofton. Was it, the oh, first, probably that one. It was the first event. Well, mm -hmm. I know it's not because it's closed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Con maybe this is the same. Uh, it lasted Olive a year Garden, and a half. Okay. Ponderosa, Benigan's. These are all wrong. Hold on, Sizzler. Not so. There, it, no. there is a. I'm thinking uh, of one I didn't know. Roy was Rogers. Still around. There is a connection, sort of a hint in the two. Okay. And then they both involve something. Kenny Rogers Roasters. Um, Again, you're close with the name. Thing. Van Arsdale. Okay. That's yeah. a bad guess because those are all over the place. Yes. Uh, IHOP is not right. Guy Fieri's Kitchen. No. 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 This was famous for their sign. There's a huge hint that we can give. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to give it. It's too big. I think people have tried to steal this sign. You've referenced Bud this Rockers. a lot. No. Shoney's. No. It no. is, it is okay. Shoney's. It is Shoney's. It's Bob's Big Boy. Bob's which is, Big which Boy. Which is a Shoney's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shoney's and Bob's Big Boy are the same. It's it's, it's Pet Coke and Pepsi. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shoney's. It's she Shoney's. literally tells these people. Bob's Big Boy. To go to Bob's Big Boy. Bob's Big Boy? And they're like, we didn't know that existed. Do you guys know? Hold on. But then she said, are you doing the Bob's Big Boy story? I am. Okay, go. Oh, please. Do you guys know that back, this is probably in the 80s. They wanted to potentially change their mascot from Bob's Big Boy. From from perfect to not perfect. Okay. I'm yeah. telling you, they How had to make it better. Yeah. They had a right. huge Fat guy holding a burger. Yeah. Is there any old people in there? Should he stay or should he go? The big boy. Okay. And it was a <laughs> fucking giant ad campaign. Whether or not to get rid of the big boy. All right. They kept them. They get goddamn Fuck, right. Yeah. They, did. they didn't yeah. bend the knee. Yeah, yeah. And now they're out of business. Yeah, go online and take yeah. a look at how that Cracker Jill campaign worked out. Brittany okay? said just that amen to Rob's story. No, I was. Uh, I no, was, you're, was, you're. Yeah, come no. on, Brittany. But then, and then they go, okay. fucking Bo Jangles. <laughs> and I'm not gonna make oh, yeah. you guess this, but they go, hey, uh, just okay. What's like a non-chain? What's something that's like, you know, local to this area? And she gets on the fucking CB. She comes back. Pete's hot dog stand. Jesus. Christ. Now. One thing that, he, hot that, dog that, that Rob told me yeah. about the hot dog stand. Yeah. You stand. There's no yeah. place to she, sit. She explains, <laughs> hey, there's no sitting. Yeah. You just drive up. They got yeah. chili on them, too. Like one of those Sabrett's hot dogs like, in New what? York. We're, we're done asking you questions. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to just handle this ourselves. We're going to go to Google instead of you, lady. That's lived here your whole life. They can't name one fucking restaurant. Not a single thing. That's like the, no. uh, it's like the Ocean City Papa less John's help. pizza story yes. with the lady. Like, yes. Right down the road, yeah. there's a pizza place called Papa John's. Yeah, no, but Shoney's was Shoney's Big Boy. Wait a minute, hold on. I really, never they knew that they were the same. Thing. I did not know that yeah. they were yes, legitimately yes. connected. Yeah. Shoney's, it was Bob's Big Boy eventually became Shoney's Big Boy, or maybe there was different. This um, is I had never knew this. I had no idea. Yeah, this is the first I've heard of it. Yeah. Google it for right there. Show yeah. big boy. We, we just believe you. I believe you. God damn it, do it. Who yeah. would lie about that? Yeah. Arby's big boy. All right, yeah. Joe. Yeah. Jesus. God, you know, you guys have triggers them. Yes. Old well water gets yeah. in them. I guess you guys don't need me anymore. No, I trust I, you. Uh, I go into the dock street last night after trivia, and I see our, our boy Larry again. And he's with this guy, Mike, that I met last time. Oh, hell yeah. I got last time forever. Last time Mike was with his girlfriend. This time he wasn't. And we got to talking. And uh, he goes, yeah, we're together like 20 years. And she's pressuring me, you know, to get married and stuff. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to get a ring. I go, oh, cool. Like, you know, you don't have to get She goes, I don't want to get married. But I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll buy you a couple years. Yeah, you know, yeah. engage. And then he goes, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not proposing. I'm like, well, hold on. What? You're buying her a ring, but then not presenting. It. I'm like, no, no, he's giving her a ring. I'm like, well, what does the ring signify? What? What's the, what's the point of the ring? Two years salary. He goes, it's a it's a promise ring. Oh, God. <laughs> at twenty years. Now, I go, what the? F are you, you're forty eight years old. A promise? This is. Are you in high school? A commitment ceremony. I'm yelling. Yeah, I just met this guy, like, and I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? A commitment. I promise to get. What are you talking about? No, get married or right. Don't. Did he say how much he was going to spend on the promise ring? Because I, I was asking him that, and he goes, like, "No, I'm not going to spend a lot." And I'm like, "Well, what are you doing? What does it mean?" Brittany says it's a yeah. shut up ring, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then I, I go, lips. "Do you have kids?" He goes, "Yes." And I go, "Why don't you just get married? Are you? Do you like? 
do you, you don't like better taxes? Like you don't like I did, you don't like tax deals? Does he? Then have people kids? started getting in on the conversation. Yeah, with yeah, me. yeah. We're all ganging up on this guy. Does he have kids with this yes. woman? That are out of high are school, they, maybe? Are they 20? I don't know, but a promise ring? And she <laughs> wants to get married. That's somebody in junior high. <laughs> yes, and, and, and it would be go. best to just not <laughs> offer her that, because if you meet a, a quarter measure of what yeah. she wants, she wants to get married. Yes. She doesn't want a commitment thing, and you come back with like, hey, promise ring, best I can do. She might tell you to get, <laughs> get fuck, the fuck out of get here. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah. Well, well promise to do what? To never, never marry me? Yes. yes. <laughs> I promise to be kind of cool with you forever. They've been together for 20 yes. years. Whatever yeah. promises, she already has that. Yeah. She needs the next thing. So either I yeah, don't 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 do the promise ring. Is she yeah. getting is is he getting pressured? Yes. Damn. And this is his way. After 20 yes. years, that seems strange. Maybe she wants better taxes too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they got kids. They got, I don't know how old they are. They I get that question because we've yeah. been together 10 yeah. and have a kid that's going to get her a promise grade. ring. I got her a house. Yeah. And like, there yes. we are. You that's live in much, your, Yeah. That's much better than yeah. a fucking promise ring. When you say, why haven't you guys gotten married? I said, we don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Neither one. Yeah. Simple. Well, the, you think he would just, but like, I felt like you know, this is something that a kid, a child does. Like yeah. a sixteen-year-old. Yeah, You're that's a grown like man. that's write a note right. that says, "Do you like me?" Check yes, check right. no. Well, that would actually be cute. That would actually be better than yeah. a fucking promise. A can, promise. So, can I can I say something about you know I love teen movies. You guys, know yes. That, right? Oh yeah, you do. I love them. There's a new teen movie out called Incoming. Hmm. It's on Netflix. It's you yeah. running towards a camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's the trick. <trailer>. Yes. <laughs> And the idea running is, towards a teen. <laughs> it's a horror no! movie. By the way, you know his propensity for age. Yeah. Two things. <laughs> I'm going to spoil this movie, but also okay. don't watch it. All also, right. Stan Boney, if you're listening to this after the thought, I want need you to take a clip of this and I need you to beep the word movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to beep movie as the highlight. Okay. <laughs> you know how much I love a, a teen. A teen. <laughs> <laughs> so in this movie. How much okay. I love teen. <laughs> in this movie. He wants to date a sophomore, and apparently that's super taboo. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. I don't remember being a year apart and it being super taboo. Did you? Mm, what is no, this now? No, not really. It? The idea of a sophomore girl dating a freshman guy. No, that seems normal. It sophomore seems girl, normal. freshman yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. The inverse seemed to usually yeah. be okay. Older guy, younger girl in high school, senior dating a, mm -hmm. a, a sophomore, whatever. Right, but this is what it is. It's a, a, a freshman guy wants to date a sophomore girl. Okay. At the end of this movie... He is in front of the entire school. They're having an assembly. And he grabs the mic and he starts. I'm so, it's so cringy, okay. right? I can barely fucking watch this, okay? He's singing Sign Seal Delivered by Stevie Wonder. Uh -huh. He's singing it to this girl okay. with the whole school watching. Okay. Big, big flex if he can pull it off. Yeah. At the end, he walks over to her. He gets on one knee and <laughs> says, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> And she says no. Oh. <laughs> and that's the fucking end of the movie. Oh. She goes, sign, seal, delivered. I'm okay. not yours. I'm not I yours. <laughs> you. yeah. Sign, seal, I, fuck you. Yeah. 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 you. She goes, I, I have to be like, as blind as Stevie wanted to fuck you. Just happened. <laughs> that's yeah. the emotional yeah. equivalent of the seven head in a box. <laughs> oh, my God. What the I shit? Said, why? Who the fuck would do that? Oh Who would my think that's a good movie? God. I, you, that's you, how it ended? You kind of that's sold That's kind of the movie. That is hilarious. Actually. She's like yeah. no, and she walks away. Now there is a little, you get a little bit of a glimmer of hope, but it's not the juice isn't worth the squeeze, right? You know, he's on a knee. Is and the now, whole school is watching? God, that's <laughs> gut wrenching. Does he have a, a waifu in his future? Oh, I, have you ever heard that word? You heard waifu? So it's funny where you guys said that word came from. Waifu. I listened and I didn't. I must have not. Maybe I was doing something during that right. time, but I didn't yeah. catch it. So well, I want to know. Here's uh, well, we're going to talk about it right now. This is on this week's Dork Dynasty. It's now it on, out on our Patreon. She kind of looked like like an elf. And yeah, I'm looking at pictures of her right now. She looks like she could be a pillow these days. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where she is, is oh waifu? <laughs> she is some man with a bowler hat's wife. How do you say that word? <laughs> I've always wondered. Oh waifu. <laughs> There is a 300-pound man that has this pillow sitting next to him in an Applebee's booth right now. Um, and it is 100%. not good under oh. a black light. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. that pillow was a fucking mess underneath I, of a black light. Bulb. I saw somebody, and I didn't know what it was. As weird as I am, I went to Cracker Barrel this morning. 
Hell yeah. And, and uh, I saw a guy sitting with a pillow. And I was like, okay, maybe. With an image came. on it? Well, at, at first, I thought it was just a pillow. Went to the bathroom. There was an image of, on it of like a hentai looking girl, and I'm Hell like, "What yeah. the fuck is happening?" Yeah, you saw a he- you saw a waifu in real life. You so, saw a waifu. I'm, Dude, wow. Oh, you sh- I wish you got a chance to talk to him. I mean, you're like, yeah, one day they're gonna make our love legal here in America. <laughs> yeah. Still uh-huh. can't get a license, but you know, they're not gonna love is love, man. Yeah, me and Hiroko is he's just rubbing a hash brown on her cartoon <laughs> mouth. Just trying to make believe. He's just pouring hot coffee onto the pillow. I yeah. uh, don't talk to her before she's had her first cup of Sanka. She's then, a real dragon. Then he throws her in the side cart to his penny farther and heads home. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. New episode of Dork Dynasty up now. Mm-hmm. Part of the DLP Patreon. We got another um, Laughs Count Anywhere. Getting ready for a yeah. bash in Berlin this week with WWE and more. We're recording that Thursday. That should yes. be out Friday. Again, that big uh, pay-per-view PLE is this Saturday afternoon in, in Germany. We've got next week the chat. Yeah. So the post Labor Day show, the chat, have at it. Ask all your questions. We'll do Super Bowl picks and then you take over the show. And then on September 10th. Yes. It's our new idea because Eric's been putting together these really cool videos. If you've seen them on our Instagram, and Eric is notoriously a bad speller. Matter of fact, he spelled agenda wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. the name of the he, show. He left out the, the, the D. D yeah. Agena. 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 We, the DLP vagina. We probably mentioned this many times on here. The DP vagina. The way that we got through COVID was we played Quiplash every Friday. Yes, saved my life. And we would always know what Eric's answer was because there was at least three misspellings. Yes, in there. right. There were one. tells. He doesn't know how to spell it. You'd be surprised at some of the words that he can't spell. Yeah, Katie had a favorite word. Mm-hmm. Mine were way too wordy. Eric's had a misspelling. Uh, it was always difficult to tell you and Tommy apart. Yeah. You and Tommy Which were is- difficult. Rare because you are very different people. But very different. I feel like we're the exact yes. same person. You are, really. when they're when they're digitally yeah. in the pocket, kind of hard to tell the difference. So this then led to, I believe it was your idea, Joe, um, a spelling bee contest with it turns out father versus daughter. Brilliant. Yeah, I just wanted to get a child. Okay, that was the idea. Clip that. Yeah. Okay, I save that, wanted, Joe. Yeah. I, I, wanted, I believe it was my idea that it was the dark. Are you all I for wanted, next week? Oh. All I wanted was a child, <laughs> and and we went. Any around, child will do. Show title. Yes. You know, hey, we went around to different children <laughs> and thought who would be the best. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Right. You said what about his daughter? Yeah. And I'm like, well, she's got. That's great. They live in the same house. She's also funny as hell. Yeah, she is. His daughter's a character. But here's the other thing. Apparently, she's a fucking great spell. Hell yeah. Awesome. Okay. So the student becomes the master. Mm -hmm. And of course, we already have some of the words. Your words were my favorite. It was like the, (laughs) yeah, cat. Yeah. cat. Yeah. Yeah. But but we have some words that are commonly misspelled. Let's not. Let's not. We don't want him studying. Yeah. 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 Don't want him to study. But some of the ones that were in there would be difficult for me. So we we sep- talked upstairs oh, yeah. about some of the ones I will regularly botch. So that'll be September 10th. Uh, and then um, September 17th, it'll be the Katie Cup. Yes. Where we're going to have who knows Katie Robinson the best. Uh, if you're a Patreon member, you can, there'll be a link in there. You can play on your phone using the website I use for our murder mystery and the office trivia. You can answer these questions yourself and see if we can. We'll really beat Joe because that's it's really it's a loose. <laughs> That's not a good day for you. Oh, if I win, lose. you're right. like, yes, of course mm-hmm. he won. That's his wife. And if I lose, I'm like, what the fuck's the matter with you? I, yes, I mean, think exactly. the order of expected accomplishment is you, Rob, than me. I mean, you spend more time here than anybody else besides these two. I'm a good I mean, listener. Best yeah. man. I'm the worst <laughs> listener. Yes. I think, you know, Karen right. upstairs would agree with me. Mm-hmm. Katie, damn it. And yeah, I think that'll be the order. So it's it's real. It is real lose lose for you. Yeah, yeah. you're is. sort of expected to win. But. Thanks for taking one for the team. Appreciate so. that, pal. <laughs> exactly. It can't be any worse than what happened yes. to me in the seventh grade. Well, that no. can't be. A lot of fun stuff coming up, so be uh, sure to pay attention for all. So I played uh, my golf foursome now. That's a regular thing. Is myself, Jason Menzer, uh, our buddy uh, Tim, who makes this beautiful table for us. Yeah, he's going to hang our sign yes, coming hang up our sign. Yeah, yeah and, I know. A couple of people were asking <clears throat> earlier in the chat. I'm sorry. During the Ask Us Anything, it'll be all chat. So know yes. that we're kind of talking amongst ourselves right. tonight. But uh, next week, all that. The sign should be here in the next two weeks. Hoping to have it up by September 10th episode would be nice. Yeah, yeah. we'll get it hung right above right. Joe. And then uh, and our buddy Jack. So we played renditions this past Sunday. Renditions is a course where they they take famous holes in golf and they mirror they, the whole Mute that, uh, yeah. it. So it's it's famous holes. And then they've made that hole try to look as close to as possible. Yeah. So 
we get to the seventh hole, and there's a woman standing there who's you know dressed nice dress, clearly not playing golf. I'm like, what's going on? And she goes, um, Cracker Barrel. We um we're doing a thing for it was some children's hospital charity, and uh, it's twenty bucks. And if you get it on the green, this is a par three. It's over water, and then there's a bunker, and then there's uh, the green and, and the pen. Uh, it's twenty bucks, and if you get it, the ball on the green, you get your twenty bucks back. You get it within X amount of feet. I forget. You get some other more money, and if you get a hole in one, you get ten thousand dollars. Whoa! So I'm like, okay. I mean, you've already gotten one. This sounds fun to me. <laughs> you know how to do yeah. that. Now they chose this hole on purpose because of the pen placement and the bunker and the water. It's it's 165 yards, and and to really do this right, you'd have to be a player that can hit a wedge or something that has enough loft. So when it lands, it's not going to land. It's going to land soft because in order to get it over the bunker, you have to, has to be scrolling to a certain rate of speed. So it's, it's, they purposely chose this hole. It's going to be a difficult, hole something you can't do. Right. But I'm like, I mean, it's $10,000, right? And I'm thinking all three of these guys are going to do it. And they're like, no, fuck no. And I'm like, all right, I don't know. Do they hate kids or they just, yeah. So, they value twenty dollars that much. The group in front of us leaves the flag out of the pen, and we're like, "What? Yo, yo, put it back in." They don't hear us, so she goes, "I'll get it." She drives down, and she's got a video camera to video this, the shots, and she drives down, puts the pen in, and then she doesn't come back, and we're waiting. And I'm like, "Well, I guess in order to film it properly, if it's a hole in one, you probably need to be from her angle to yeah. see the ball going." Yeah. Through. So I go, "Okay, I guess she's." You know, not gonna, she's gonna just wait. So, Tim, Jack, Menzer, they all go, <laughs> none of them, they all hit horrible shots. Okay. Okay. Two, but they do it. They hit. They it. didn't know, but they don't, they didn't. Not the $20. No, no. Yeah. But they're still playing the hole. Right. right they're right, just right. playing it's, the hole, but they're the not regular the hole. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm like, well, good money. Good money. Well, it's not spent. Yeah. So they hit it in the water. One of them doesn't even reach the water. It's such a bad shot. Yeah, right. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay. I don't want to pay money and then do that, you know, because yeah. then you feel like a fucking piece of shit. So I like, I know this club that I'm going to hit. There's a whole similar distance in Crofton. And I don't normally do well in that hole. But when I do just swing it nice and easy, don't try to toot too hard. It's a 165, 170 shot. And so I've done that before. So I know that I have that in me. And I'm like, I don't, but I just, I, just, I don't want to fuck this up because now I feel like it's pressure, right? Yeah. Swing back and it's dead at it. I mean, you know, in, in sports books and the apps were like, you can cash out if your bet's doing well. She would have hit that. They button. would have given me yeah. a cash out option, <laughs> really? thinking you're in for more than 20. The value of it is. Yeah. Well. It's headed straight the fuck at it. The now, group. are they yelling, the guys? Like, well, there's whoa, a, the, whoa, there's, whoa, 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 yes. whoa, whoa. And there's the group behind us that just showed up. They're like, dude, holy shit. It's yeah. going in. And it's right at it. And I'm like, I know it's going to clear the water, but my depth perception is pretty shitty. The bunker, I, I think it is. And it clears the bunker. And it's headed right fucking at it. Oh, no. And it just goes by. I'm showing you right now. Oh, that, my See how online God. that is? It went past it to there. That's right, right. <laughs> you needed like at it a half an ounce of pressure yes. more, and you got 10k in your pocket. Yes. What did that get you? Your money back? Well, this is the thing. Free round. So then, chicken tenders. Jason's like, <laughs> well, I mean, you're gonna get your money back. It is for charity. I'm like, ah, yeah. I go, what if I, uh, what if I ask for 19 back? <laughs> Give one to the charity. Yeah. He goes, hey, that I'd record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I drive down the cart. She drives back. She didn't fucking record it. I'm like, what the fuck? She goes, oh, I, I was just waiting down there. So what are you doing? What's her job? Like, what do you want? What, why are you not recording? That is her job. What if it fucking went what in? What if it went in? You, right. You they just take her get, word for it? Right. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> then yeah, I didn't see it, so it doesn't count. And I was like, how? What? I this thought, I thought you thrown waited together. down there to film and you were doing nothing. Yeah, something with that degree. I used to work at a, an ad agency and we would have uh, contests and stuff that it was the old, you know, uh, a county fair. How many jelly beans are in the jar thing? Can you throw the football through these three hoops at a, a car dealership and you would yeah. like, win a car? There was always insurance behind those. You would buy of sweepstakes course. insurance. Yes. 
So something like that, 10,000 bucks. It's real money. There's a financier somewhere. So you think that they have eyes at that, where you're driving from, at the pin, something. This thing seems real slapdash. I, and then I was like, and she goes, well, okay, is it on the green? I go, you didn't fucking even see it at all? Yeah. Like, she, like, it didn't happen. So that's how little she was concerned about that's, our group doing you anything. You were pissed. You didn't like you. Well, I was pissed because like, first no of all. No one came closer that day. It's a great shot. She's been wa- there all day. I'm waiting for her to say, wow, that was the best we've seen. Yada, yada, give me an attaboy. She didn't even fucking watch it. And then I'm like, and then I forgot later, I think you had like a hundred bucks within like 10 feet or something. I'm like, we would have measured that shit because that I didn't want. <laughs> you know, I don't need these kids don't yeah. need a hundred bucks. You can keep 20. You did win right. everybody else's respect that day you were playing with, though. Tell me everybody. Tell me Dude. you leveled up with all of Dude, them. Like, they oh, were all shit. Like, holy shit. This is our speed. Yeah. And this then, is our pro. Not only did I level up, Jason and... Uh, Fucking Jack went on the wrong way in the cart, and the fucking cart stopped working. They couldn't get over the bridge. So <laughs> I look like I'm getting a hold of one. They can even drive a fucking cart. You've been yeah. doing this for what, three years now, four years? Golf? One uh, year. One year? I, thought, well, I don't think it's been longer than I mean, that. I, I started I, post I as a kid. No, I started last summer. Yeah, but since he's started playing, he's gotten a hole in one. Yeah. He won a uh, tournament against Chris Restivo. You got a natural propensity for this. Hey, I'm a hole in one. It was almost a year later that the hole in one. Rob been, hole in one yeah. mayor, we call him. Yeah, that's what they call him. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, somebody had one hell of a drive at a kid's party. I can't wait to tell you oh. about. Uh, yeah, and that's a perfect setup for what I was dealing with as I almost threw up laughing. And it's one of the reasons that Mudge and I are really not talking a lot right now. Mm, uh, that's weird. We were invited over to a kid's party for a back-to-school celebration in the neighborhood. Mm. With all the parents and they're heading over to this one uh, neighbor's house, a couple of people I really like. And it was a ton of children and a lot of parents. And the party starts at about noon. And I say, we got some stuff to do. I'll try and get there about 1.30. So we roll up about 115 130 mm-hmm. pull up in the golf cart we're looking around for everybody we go inside everyone is fucking wasted nice <laughs> kids it's lord of the rings it's excuse me lord of the flies lord of the flies, of the flies. <laughs> one's got a mountain the other has a fat yeah. kid that gets his head kicked right. in it's did, the ring the horror movie did the rise ring. and shine make an appearance uh evan <laughs> came and was just completely feral completely feral <laughs> So we get to, immediately someone's like handing me a fucking triple vodka soda. Oh, she's looking at me like motherfucker. Now this is don't Sunday. You? This is Sunday. Yeah, yeah, not a day. You not a day for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these people are getting wasted. They're just, I mean, beer, beer, beer. It's fucking do a shot. Get them. Some one guy like declares, send them the fuck back. There's <laughs> just eight year olds running around. <laughs> There must be. They're so happy the kids are going back to school. There must be any of them learning kids. CPR. Uh, <laughs> it, my job almost needed it. Um, we go outside. We sit on this desk, and they're out there, the children with plastic swords and Minecraft axes and all this. And I'm sitting there holding this drink, and she's been nursing one uh, mimosa for like 30 minutes. Mm. No one's noticing our drink levels are not going down. And in the Sorry, in the middle of a conversation about a vasectomy. Mm-hmm. They're all getting vasectomies. <laughs> and one guy's talking about how you have to go back in and you have to prove that you have no semen yeah, left. Yeah. You, know, you have no sperm left. I have a semen. joke about that. The same yeah, thing. Yeah. And he's just like, jack it off, jack it off. And he's like, you know, in the, in the very final one, I waited a little bit. And this one drunk lady looks at him and goes, how big was the load? Oh, oh my and, God. And Mudge wow. wants to puke. Show title. She, <laughs> she's like, Ugh. and she's like, how big's the, as the word load, duh, ends, a fucking kid comes by oh. and swings Excalibur for the fences and almost scalps Mudge. Hits her in the back of the fucking head as hard as I've ever seen her get hit. Just how big was the low? Wham! Just fucking hard. Oh shit. She's holding the back of her head. I'm crying laughing. Uh, guy's ready to fall out of his fucking seat. This other lady's like, come on, answer me. It's it's the most chaotic. Awesome. It's Did he answer? chaos. Uh, he was not expected to be yeah. asked that. He said he knew it exactly. Yeah. 1.3 ounces. Yeah. <laughs> Eight and a half yeah. ounces with pulp. Yeah. It was pulp. With pulp. As he's saying this, he's standing oh, next to Mudge. With he's, pulp. She sat down in a chair. His crotch is here. So oh. she's listening about the stuff that's in this guy's bag while getting blasted in the back of the head. She looks to the parent like, did you just fucking see? Yeah. Are you going to discipline kid? your kid? She goes, ah, that's <laughs> Tim, <laughs> hey, we got tapas inside. She, she leans. She goes, 
we're leaving. And I have to go. <laughs> like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would stay until fucking Tuesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is this is Bonnery. This is amazing. I By might way, actually drink this drink. Think about just the shift about <clears throat> you being drugged there. And then you wanting to be there versus to yeah. herb dragging you, would you not there. have seen that coming. It's an M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> twist. I, I'm telling you, it was ups yeah. and downs. I don't right. want to go. Then I'm allowed to drink, but I can't drink. And then someone's talking, come and she gets fucking uh, concussed. It was, it was yeah. goddamn wild. Does she still have, a, is her head still sore? Oh, she got a big old bump. <laughs> that was kids party one of two. Okay. okay. So we get home. Tough act to follow. We have, we have a, about an hour or two in between. There's a birthday party with a little boy behind directly behind the house hmm. and i'm guessing less cum jokes that way one. less jizz a <laughs> lot more bags of snacks what and the kids theme? on the moon bounce i'm eight that's it <laughs> that's um and we we go around we uh we, we drive around the block and we go into this kid's backyard and this is very much a kid's party and these are this is the pta it could not be more different I mean, it's like going from Guar to Simon and Garfunkel. Yes. <laughs> it is called. Well, we're hanging out underneath of the guy's deck and the shade. And there's a guy there who I'm introduced to by the kid's dad. And he's a listener. And mm. he'd like to meet me. Mm -hmm. And he is, he's a big, big fan. And this doesn't happen a lot in that neighborhood. Annapolis, I'm not sure how many JSS listeners there are. I mean, there might be one-to-one -one JSS DLP in Anne Arundel. And he's, he's happy to meet me. And he's asking nice. questions. I'm feeling nice. Okay. I'm like, he's, you he could tell he's a big, big fan. And uh, I'm trying, I could tell the conversation will not end unless I end it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mm -hmm. look for a smooth off ramp. I'm like, hey, I got to go check on the little one. I'm going to be right back. I want to finish hearing how Alaska was. <laughs> I turn around, walk right into a fucking wind chime. <laughs> I get my face and head <laughs> caught in a wind. It's right here. <laughs> And I turn around, you know how there's like clear bits of like fishing line to keep all the tubular down your beard. I am yeah. caught in a net of and I'm I'm, I'm clanging my <laughs> fucking head. I look at Mudge, she's cracking up. Oh, oh yes. she's laughing. You get your come up. Oh right. my god, <laughs> karma came swinging around. So she's got a lump the size of a lemon. I'm caught in a wind chime trap, and I need to have the same guy that was just kissing my ass <laughs> help me pull the fucking apparatus off of my head. So uh, quite a day for your boy. Well, I that, thought you were going to mm. say that you said, uh, I'll be right back. I want to hear about that. And you just walked out. I yeah, never leave. <laughs> I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> yeah. See ya. That reminds me of the guy. And we just got an email from him. Our, your buddy that you met, uh, Mike, yeah, over Mike, at the Grove Market. What's up, Mike? He goes, just heard the episode where you talked about meeting me at the Grove Market. Did not realize you were having back issues. I did hear Katie say that you were dealing with a situation. I assumed it was a Cole's type of issue. Hey, speaking oh. of that, Enjoyed meeting the two of you and maybe run each other again. Thank, thank you. you. It was great meeting you, Mike. Speaking of that, you know that um, I had to, uh, the Woodworths watched um, Olive. Katie yeah. blew Joe's back out. <laughs> and, I, and we had to meet um, Eric to pick up the doll. Yeah. And a nice little central point from where he lives and I live mm -hmm. is Ellicott City. Do you know what happened? <laughs> no. He be prepped it he with goes, me at a time. He goes, brilliant. meet me here. And he gives an address. I pull up. It's a cold. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls up at the cold. So you shit yourself. I know that cold. Oh, yeah. my God. That's so funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, holy Eric, shit. The best. He is the best. And all yes. of you are the best. All the DLP Patreon members. Uh, shout out Luke Boggs. Okay. Boogs, Boggs. I'm not sure how. You want a pretty kick-ass He's kick -ass gotta be a country singer. He's gotta be. You mm -hmm. had to drink a thousand beers on mm -hmm. a plane. Uh, so congratulations. If you listen to the most recent Dork Dynasty, we gave away this awesome Hell LED yeah. video game controller light-up piece of wall art. Something I think Dave Dennis would be proud to hang on as yeah. well. It's about yay big. Lights up. Joe got me all your information. So I'm going to be mailing that out to you this week. Look for an email from me. So I'm going to get all of your information. The minute I get it, I put it right in the mail. And uh, yeah, next week, it's a tradition with these guys that from Rob and Joe now to DLP. Mm -hmm. Start to think your questions now. Cue up like two or three because, you know, we have our fame, uh, same family, usual suspects in here. We love everybody. Bring some new people in. Please. And next week, the show is yours. Uh, we will do into Patreon. We will be doing. We'll do a Patreon next week that so we'll, we'll get all our wacky shit out of our heads. The yeah, first yeah. episode of Track Off will Hell also yeah. be out. This yeah, so be Track great. Off will be out uh, Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to we'll commit to Wednesday. How about that? Yeah, and uh, Katie had a great line in this one. She said, uh, "And Chad, she's getting you a uh, she's getting you a promise sleep apnea machine." <laughs> <laughs> this has been the DLP agenda. Thank you. <laughs>